Hey, it's Todd Hatta. I'm here with another packing video. It's been a while since I've made one, so I thought I'd show you what I put in the Konkin bags since I've done a couple videos on the different Konkin bags. This is the Fjallraven Konkin 15 laptop version. So this has the laptop compartment in the back, holds a 15 inch laptop, and it's not very padded on the bottom. It's got a little padding, but the trick I do I put one of my pieces of clothing at the bottom as a pad, and then that also gives me a little more room in the main compartment. You have an outer pocket, and then there is one inner pocket. This next trip coming up is going to be two months around Asia and Southeast Asia, so let me show you what I'm going to bring along this time. Clothing takes up most of the room in your bag when you travel, so I use everything that's quick dry. So I have very little clothing, and I just hand wash in the sink, or if I have a washing machine at the apartment, then I just hang dry everything. So all my clothes are merino wool, linen, or a synthetic blend. So everything dries very quickly. So let's start with the shirts. I have these three linen shirts, and this is from Koval's Club from Amazon. And these dry so quickly, they keep you cool in the hot and humid weather. I also found in Thailand from Muji, this synthetic shirt, and this kind of has a uh, light weave, so it breathes a bit and it dries so fast. I think even faster than the linen. And then I have this one from Lululemon, and it's similar to the Muji shirt, but just a lot pricier. Uh, it's very stretchy. I really like the stretch on it. Um, also, I have two merino wool shirts from Icebreaker for, you know, sleeping, lounging around by the pool or the beach. And then for shorts, by Chubby's, and these are a synthetic blend. Stretchy, uh, very quick dry. For pants, I have Prana. And these are the Bryon pants. Very quick dry, very cool in the hot weather. And for swim trunks, I got these from Smart Wool. So these are a merino wool and a nylon material, so very quick dry as well. For boxers, I like the Icebreaker. And these are my favorite. I've used these for years. They just came out with the olive color. I used to wear black. And then for socks, I use the Cloudline Merino Wool. And these are my favorite. Very cushiony, quick dry, keeps the odor out. So that's one big advantage for Merino Wool. You could wear them for days, anything. Shirts, the boxers, the socks, and they just don't retain the smell. And for a light jacket, I have this Muji Windbreaker. I really like this one. I like the color and it's so small and it just rolls up so tight. For those hot sunny days, I have a Fit Kicks foldable hat and this is also quick dry and folds up really small. For shoes, I have the Minimalist Zero shoes. It's the Dylan. It's like a little fashionable sneaker and I love those. They're great. I have three pairs of them and I just rotate them out as I wear them out. For flip-flops, I have some Javianas. I got them in the Philippines on an island about seven years ago, and they're super thin, but very strong, durable. They've lasted seven years, and they take up very little space in the bag. To fit all my clothing, I just have two of these e-bags cubes. All my clothing fits perfectly in these two bags and just packs away really easily. Now for some travel accessories. My wallet's from Bellroy. It's one of the really small card wallets. It's only got room for maybe six or so cards. I put some cash in the middle and then I put a little chain on it. I attach that to my belt loop in case anyone tries to pickpocket me. They won't get away so easily. For phones, I have an iPhone 15, which I purchased in Thailand, which was actually cheaper than buying it in the US. And it comes with a SIM card slot, not just eSIM. So check that out when you're in Thailand if you want a new iPhone. It's cheaper than the US. And I also have a 12 mini, and this is a backup just in case something happens to my main phone. I got everything duplicated, and I can just be up and running right away if something happens to my main phone. For a cell phone charger, I have this MagSafe battery, and it's by Kula. Just holds on right there and charges wirelessly. So good, it's so thin. For AC adapters, I have this tiny one, and this is a USB-C. This is a small charger from Belkin. It's got two USB-Cs, 45 watts max. Then for cables, I have the USB-C of a 10-foot, which is good for, you know, if you're in a hotel and there's no plug right by the bed, this will get you pretty far. 
And then I also keep the Apple three foot cable as well. So I could charge my phone and my laptop at the same time. For earbuds, I have the AirPods Pro 2 and as a backup, the Xiaomi Buds 4. And these both have noise canceling, so they're great for the airplane, but they each last about four hours or so. So on those long overseas flights, you're gonna have to charge. So I just use one, then as that runs out, go to this one, charge. Then when this one runs out, go back to this one. For the movies on the plane, I have this little Bluetooth device, plugs into the headphone jack on the plane, and then you can pair either of the earbuds to it. So you can be wireless and still watch a movie. So this is very helpful. For my laptop, I have the MacBook M2 Air, and this one is about one terabyte, 16 gigs of RAM, so it does everything I need to edit. For the MacBook, you need a dongle. This one by RayQ is great. It just plugs in, doesn't block the power port. You got three USBs, you got a USB-C, uh, micro SD and SD card slot, so excellent adapter. For storage, I love these SanDisk SSD drives, and this one's a four terabyte. Look how tiny that is. That thing is tiny. And it's very durable. It's got a nice rubber feel to it. So I could back up everything on the road and have my Final Cut Pro um, libraries on here. And it just holds everything. It's very small, very great. For wireless mic, I use the 7RYMS brand. And this is really cool. It's got just a little plug-in for USB-C, or there's another one for lightning and then two little receivers, and I have it clipped right here. Very good sound, wireless, very small, compact, and inexpensive. Since I'm always on the road for entertainment, I have the Fire Stick from Amazon, and since it needs power, there's this little power converter that plugs into the Fire Stick, and it'll plug into the USB of the TV, so you don't need an external power source. One of my new favorite purchases from Amazon is the Ritter O-Cut hair clippers. And this thing is so tiny. Look how small that is, like four inches. It's a bit heavy. This thing is solid. I cut my own hair, so just with a number one attachment, and it takes five minutes, and it's all clean. Very great. So I've had so many different clippers, and this one is the best by far. Yeah, the Ritter, it's so good. One of the most important travel items I have is from the Charles Schwab Bank. And this is the ATM card that has zero fees, zero ATM fees, wherever you go in the world. So instead of changing cash at the exchange, you're gonna get a better exchange rate just withdrawing from the ATM. So I'll show you how this bag packs for the trip. So I put my laptop there, and I have the two cubes here. These are the e-bags cubes. So one of them goes in just like this, and the other one goes sideways, so it fits no problem, and there's still plenty of space there. So once that's all in there, then I have all my electronics in this bag, and this I got from the Oxnard Tourism Board. Thanks a lot. It's a perfect bag for this, and it fits right at the top. So I have got that perfectly right on top of these bags. A bag full of currencies. This is all of the Amazon Fire Stick accessories. And these are all my toiletries and, you know, Advil, Dramamine, that kind of stuff. Look how loose this bag is still. So there's plenty of room. And then in here, I put the battery, the headphones, and my passport. <clears throat> so that's it. Everything's here. It's all packed, ready for a two-month trip. And it's, yeah, it's not even full. It's still got some space in there so I could pick up some things here and there if I need to. It's not easy to get everything into this size bag. It's 18 liters. So they do have a 17 inch, which I have, but it's actually too big for me right now with what I need to carry. So I really like the 15. Uh, the 13 is too small for me. And it's a real challenge to get all of this stuff in the 13 inch bag, but this 15 is the perfect size for me.
Thanks again for watching. Come back for more tips and tricks for travel, minimalist travel, general travel tips, everything on how to make your next trip as easy as possible.